this is about the model of this uh, DC motor. Now, H bridge can be configured in multiple number of ways where uh, if I keep it internal, then I can uh, make the simulation mode as PWM or averaged. The moment I make this as PWM, my simulation time is going to increase drastically, right? So if I want to run this model for, let's say, five seconds, it's uh, good. But now my drive cycles or my actual runtime of the vehicle is going to be in minutes or maybe in hours. So I'm going to select the average mode where my simulation will run comparatively faster. And let me enable uh, the regenerative braking and let's keep the load current uh, characteristic as smooth. Input threshold, I'm going to keep uh, the default values or I can uh, change these values to uh, any what I want. Right, and uh, let's say reverse gear is also possible if you want to uh, have a reverse connection or you want to rotate this motor in the reverse direction, that is possible. If you want to apply the braking, that is also possible. And here you need to give the output voltage amplitude, which is similar to the voltage we have selected for the motor. And you need to decide about the losses happening in the bridge uh, switches along with the diodes. So this is how you can configure about the H bridge. Now, without going into much detail of the H bridge, uh, let's keep this uh, internal and uh, averaged. And I'm going to enable this and I will apply. So here the model will look something different. So here, I am not going to connect any battery, right? Uh, in case of an uh, internal power supply, because this H bridge will take the power on its own, on from its own DC source. So I'm going to connect uh, now positive over here and negative over here. So with this connection, now we need to figure out how we are actually going to control the PWM. So for that, we need to connect uh, controlled PWM voltage. So this is a controlled PWM voltage block where I will connect the PWM with uh, input PWM line here you can see. And this block will actually apply pulses and based on this pulses from the fixed battery voltage, the variable output voltage will be available to motor and the motor speed and motor torque are going to change. So reference I'm going to connect to the reference part and uh, let's say I'm not going to explore the reverse aspect. So let me connect it with uh, uh, the ground. So the ground is nothing but uh, electrical reference. So let's have electrical reference over here. I'm going to connect the ground to this part. Uh, I'm going to connect the reverse also to this ground. Uh, the reference negative uh, is also grounded. Now this connection is actually the controller's part and here now at this point i need to apply my controller's input right so my controller's input is going to be applied at this part so let me quickly review whatever are the parts we have used one is uh, our vehicle body where along with the tire, we have mounted a vehicle body on that along with the gearbox. We have connected a, a DC motor. Now that DC motor is controlled by an H bridge. Now the H bridge is going to receive control signals from the controller. So now the controller is going to work on a logic level and this is a power level. So we will require a controlled uh, voltage source and we will use that controlled voltage source for uh, giving the output to this block. So this is a controlled voltage source. And if I try to connect this with this one, right? Uh, if you see, I'm not able to connect this one, right? Because what you see here is a black one of uh, another MATLAB library. And here what you see as a blue one is of another library. So this controlled voltage source is not going to match with my requirements. So let me use another 
controlled voltage uh, which is of uh, seamscape library so controlled voltage source and here it is for uh, foundation library you can see uh, okay this is of the blue color right and let let's try connecting this with this one okay so now we are able to connect this with this